that bit. Yes, yes, a schmeek, sir. Thank you for letting me know that I am alive and doing a thing. Um, there we go. Much more better. Uh, I've got toys to level up. Might as well! Just anyway, uh... One guy over at DE is... Just... Like, meh. I guess you, you might call it about the simulacrum, so... Yeah, you know, hey, Scott. Hey, this is, this is not another simulacrum video. Accordingly, while the process of becoming a Defend living thing may have altered your arrived. consciousness... You don't understand, Scott. The your toilet paper brand is meaningless here. Scott's toilet paper, it's just a fucking joke, mate. Anyway. Hey look. I'm I'm in game. Doing the in game thing. What the hell are you doing? Why are you... I don't know what you're doing. What the fuck are you doing? Here, have an energy buff. For a few seconds. There, happy now? Alright, well, I'm starting this. Why are you right here up on top of me like that? Oh yeah, um, uh, in that swirly bit that he placed down right there. Reminds me. I like Boobin's, uh, new kid. Yep, he's Wukong. Know how I can tell? There's two of them! Oh, dude, fuck me out there. Is that dude actually? Yep, he is Boobin. Fuck yeah! Boobin, fuck the win! Make him near us. Make him near us. Fuck yeah! Mr. Boobin, sir, your cranial smoothie is ready. Fuck yeah. Anyway, as far as, um... As far as Boobin's, um... Vortex grenade goes... I like it. I really do. And I totally get that there's some people who are uh, very focused on efficiency, like maddeningly so, who are gonna say, um, Urban, stop fucking throwing down your little traps. Traps are good. You know what? I'm having a giggle with it. 
just enjoy it for a little bit. You know what you should be worried about? Not worried about. You know what you should be upset about? Well, maybe not upset about. You know what you should call people out on instead of Boobum's uh, vortex grenade. You should call people out on sitting down in the middle of the mission and playing their little lute, their guitar, whatever the fuck the in-game thing is called. Yeah, I, I haven't committed it to them. I haven't even bothered looking it up to see how to get it or what it is. I just know it's based off of the 19th century lute. That uh, bards were trained to have at all times. L U T E loot. Not L O O T, loot. It's uh, something entirely different. But, fuck's sake, if you want to worry about something, if you want to complain about something, complain about assholes. Just sitting down in the middle of a mission, playing the fucking guitar. Cause they ain't doing shit. And I once sat right here in this, not sat, but I was once in this mission. And watched a guy just do nothing but play on his fucking little guitar. His little 19th century guitar for 10 fucking waves. No fucking joke. You know, instead of being a bitch to him, just tell him, hey, if I were to sit down and play my guitar in the game, like, you wouldn't appreciate it because I wouldn't be contributing to anything and the, all the enemies would swarm you. It's not cool, it's not cool. It does not contribute to your team. All it does is annoy everyone and make them angry at you. Also, hey Scott, DE e. Scott, this is not a simulacrum video. And these these mobs that I'm clearing, I'm fully aware that they are low-level trash mobs. So me being able to like just you know one-shot them, it's it's literally meaningless. Because they're so low level. Like, I think that I, I can safely say that most veterans in this game consider anything below level 100 just extremely low level trash. And yeah, my Zal, it can fucking, it can wipe out a, a level 100 with a couple of swings. But other players who have min-maxed their, their mods and their uh, mod capacity and their space to place those mods, they, they've got way better mods than I do. There's a lot of mods uh, in base game before um, before Planes of Eidolon that I don't know about yet that I need to get. So until I get those mods, I can't accurately say which level bracket of mob is trash mob for me. I can only say I'm fairly certain that other veteran players consider anything from level 1 to 100 extremely low level trash.
beat this guy. This is fucking game, mate. It's not a simulacrum video. This is this is fucking game. Like I kept saying, <coughs> you want more diverse builds? Well, there's an easy fix for that. Everybody wants mastery rank to mean something as well. To combine the two, one easy, well, not easy. I, I know programming is a literal fucking bitch and a half. Well, with one solution, which is a bitch and a half program, but sounds easy in presentation. There. An accurate and apt description of what's actually about to occur. Like I've already said, hit Mastery Rank 15, give everybody four more extra mod slots to put in the mod cards. My frames, the weapons, everything. And then at uh, 20 or 25, another four, so it doubles. Uh, Aura mods, Exilus mods, uh, the slots for them, yeah, those two. So you'll have two Aura slots, two Exilus slots, and instead of eight, you'll have um, 16. 16 regular mod card slots. And you can't do this with stance mods for weapons because uh, stances just won't mix. Not in their current state. And it's it's not really viable within any game's coding to mix stances. Not currently viable. Personally, I don't fucking recommend it. But instead of the extra stance uh, slot, I don't know, throw in, um, I don't know, throw in something, like, leave it up to, leave it up to uh, a vote to, to, to all the player base, whether they want an extra, like, Exilus for the weapon or an extra regular uh, mod card slot. Just do that. Just fucking do it. Don't don't let your games be memes. Just do it. Don't let the power fantasy be just a dream. Just do it. Also, uh, fucking it. It. Fucking mastery rank 20. Yeah. It mastery rank 20. Just remove the daily standing cap. Um, as far as factions are concerned, why not add a sixth uh, fucking rank up tier with them all? Uh, the six base factions that you, you gain and lose standing. Yeah, why not make a sixth tier with all of them? that uh, they support you in your decisions instead of you having to give to them all the time. So that you don't lose standing for doing other factions' missions. That way people earn having all the factions unlocked and fully going. Hey, Noxy boy. I remember when you scared the hell out of me the first time I saw you. Now I just think you're an adorable noose. And they play that as representative of the entire player base's uh, disposition and ribbon joke towards uh, adding new enemies like when you added the Nox a while back. Yeah, it's, it's not. There's, there's a lot of new players 
we were just getting started, we're like, What the fuck is this bitch? How do I kill it? Okay, you guys wanna leave? I will leave with you. Not a problem. Uh, shit. As far as making mastery rank mean something. I know that uh, adding in anything that progresses gradually at every individual mastery rank is taxing to the game's coding. And even more taxing on the hardware on which the game is played. Yeah, and I know, certain PCs can take it like they're fucking badass. But consoles, consoles are kind of iffy, especially when you factor in thermal throttling. You know, C Linus Tech Tips for that. For those of you who don't know, yeah, thermal th thermal throttling is a thing. Uh, I'm just gonna summarize that instead of all the uh, data points and everything. Basically, the hotter past a certain ideal temperature, the it, physical CPU the processor gets the less efficient it is at actually processing the game so it, it slows down what you see on screen and everything it lags it lags the uh, input from your controller it lags the network connectivity uh, it lags everything because it all goes through the CPUs. And uh, a similar chip is on the, the graphics processing unit. So thermal throttling affects everything across the board with your hardware. The enemy is at our doorstep. You must defend our equipment. So until as far as right. making each individual mastery rank mean something so that um, it's not just a measure of how long we've been grinding. I, I don't understand why you're teabagging right there. Ah! Is that Mirage Prime? I'll be damned. I was actually right about it. That's a lot of purple and gold. Oh, black light energy colors. Fuck yeah, that's cool. But uh, back on track with making Master Rank music. Um, every five levels, like. Make it to where you get a a percentage boost of your base stats. Like it realigns the calculation so that uh, all your stats across the board go up with mastery rank to match the enemy scaling. So that you're earning the, uh, the the defensive power you have and the damage output potential you have, you're earning your power for uh, whatever you want to call it. You're earning your power in the game. But you're earning more power in the game. It's right now, mastery rank just does not mean jack shit. It doesn't. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna withhold, you know, saying four-letter words just because they might offend your fucking dipshit, snowflake, social justice faggot sensibilities. I'm not gonna censor myself. I'm going to tell you straight fucking up. Mastery rank does not mean jack fucking shit. So, like every five ranks, a percentage increase. Like, I don't know. 
work it so that it caps out at like a 30% increase or a 45 or 50% increase to all your baselines. And calculate it as an MR uh, earned bonus. That way, when I jump into a lobby with someone who's a higher mastery rank than me, I can appreciate that they've earned the power they have to do more damage than me. Even with the fucking min-maxed meta as to ever meta builds. That'll also, it when it applies to weapons and stuff, like everything in the game, across the board. It'll make more uh, shit weapons such as the Stug more viable. This is going to be applying up to that 30, uh, 45, or 50 extra percent base calculation for its zero status on the Stug specifically. That's the example I'm using. There's no weapon that only proc status should ever have zero percent status. Never. And it doesn't even have uh, doesn't even have critical chance or critical damage or anything to counterbalance its uh, lack of balance. So applying an earned master rank bonus of an additional some odd percent to like every stat on all the pages in the game across the board. Yeah, that's gonna be a bitch and a half to code. But, hey, D, all you have to do is start with the Warframe's um, energy efficiency, um, power strength, uh, duration, uh, those four base stats. I forgot the fourth one. Sad. Just keep fucking forgetting it. Like, like an idiot, you know? Just start by applying it there. You get those four core things out of the way. Then work on health, shield, armor. Health, armor, shields. Yeah. For the, your, your frame and, um,. Your, um, your Sentinels, your Kubros, your Kavats, your Helmet Chargers, uh, Arc Wings, yeah, all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Power, duration, efficiency, strength, and whatnot for the, the Arc Wings as well. With every five levels, it goes up yay so many percentages. Going up to a maximum when you hit rank 30, mastery rank 30, it's, it's capped out at an extra 30% or an extra 45 or an extra 50% that's uh, applied as your new base. Instead of 100, it'll be 130 or 145 or 150. That'll be the new base on which everything else is calculated. Make mastery rank mean something. Let players have acquire and molest and fucking go on a date with, whisper sweet nothings into the ear of, and then you know wake up drunk next to the next morning with the power fantasy. Stop dangling it like a fucking carrot on a stick. This ain't Minecraft. Nobody's a fucking pig. Stop listening to the floor of your He's a dumb little bitch and he's died. I'm not gonna lie.
Oh yeah, yeah. Those timers, the wake timers on crafting things at the foundry. Either do away with them across the board, or as you master your rank up, reduce them substantially each rank. So that, you know, by rank 30, you have no timer at all for the forge. Because why the fuck should we have to wait, no matter what mastery rank we've earned, you know, reward the player for playing the game and getting as far as they've gotten. Give them the reward they've already earned. And yes, everyone across the board has already earned these things I'm talking about. And as if, as far as if they don't want to apply the extra base stats, put it on a, uh, a toggle switch so that they can turn it on and off with their legion. And put it somewhere in the options menu if you like, or um, put it at the uh, the uh, armory. The arsenal that's uh, in the orbit. Like, uh. Fucking options menu? Or the fucking arsenal? Or both. I don't fucking care. That's is uh, that's if the game's uh, engine can handle uh, putting such a thing on a, uh, a binary on and off toggle. If there is any concern about um, having it on a switch interfering with uh, processing capacities and the game's engine's uh, capabilities, then just leave it on once you hit a certain mystery. Just don't worry about it. But for fucking goddamn sake, make mastery rank mean something. Reduce or remove the fucking wait timers for the foundry. No, I'm fucking mastery rank 22 right now. Haven't I earned a fucking decrease in the wait timer? Haven't I earned the fucking ability to deal more damage and take more damage from the enemy without extra mods? Haven't I earned having extra mods? Hasn't anyone at fucking mastery rank 15 earned having more mods? They spent the time to go halfway through the game's mastery rank progression. So I think, and I firmly believe, they've already fucking earned it. Why the fuck don't they have it? So for the fuck's sake, love of the fun of the game, make mastery rank mean something. Oh, you guys want to leave? I'm not going to push you to stay. Falcor, um, how did you get out of the never-ending story, and why did you get turned into an energy disc? I'm kind of curious as to how these things happen to you, Falcor. I guess inanimate objects don't talk anymore. Falcor's been turned into a glive. Chronogade. Interesting gamer tag, my friend. I mean, not my friend. Acquaintance. We just met. Calming Llama. <clears throat> ah, I see. The Gecko Ninja. That's a nice gamer tag you've got there. I like it. 
I appreciate that you're that creative. Fuck yeah. You must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know they're saying. It mastery rank 10, 20. Yeah, 10 and 20. Give everyone a baseline increase in the um the loot drop that uh that they get from killing enemies in the game and completing objectives and i don't know which mastery rank or which uh number of or how many of uh mastery ranks but sortie rewards and arbitration rewards and uh basically like your your later game content reward drops as well as uh, like the baseline uh loot drops in the game that that definitely needs to go back up to what it was two years ago because increased grind does not equal content or equate to content by any stretch of any algorithmic chart or equation it just does not equal not in, not in the least just because I said more grind does not mean it's a positive even though in a fucking equation or an algorithm it would be listed as uh, multiplicative or exponential which are just higher forms uh, mathematically of a addition function fucking no molecular prime fuck yeah one shot the enemies fuck yeah doing up there I've got the range to sit here and literally be a turret for me this is uh, the part of the game where I'm leveling a weapon. This is fucking game. And I'm cool with that. Uh, you know what? I think that uh, once you hit Master Rank 20, or 15, that the experience, the affinity, that you get from uh, completing objectives, getting kills, and such in missions should be doubled across the board for your focus, for your frames, your weapons, and everything. Just doubled across the board without making an increase to the amount that you have to earn. And it don't fucking do a net nerf to you. Nobody likes that. And, you know, a year or two ago, you know, when that commercial came out, you know, the one with the dude painting the fence and making the comparison between Destiny and Warframe. Yeah, that's when I realized that, that when that commercial dropped, 
when that advertisement came out, that is the second I realized that you guys or someone else had got their head shoved so far up their own ass that they thought they could get away with anything. And I came back to the game after a year of not playing it because I give a fuck. I give a fuck about the game. I give a fuck about people's enjoyment in the game. I give a fuck about the people who are working on the development team making the game to make it to where everyone can enjoy it, including themselves. Same argument all over again. It's everyone's unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. Play this game as they see fit within the game's programming boundaries. There's a certain degree of, uh, no, you can't add that just because it's, you know, fun. Because it's, it's not friendly to the game at the fucking baseline level of the code. There's a certain degree of that, as well as a certain degree of, uh, no, we're not putting roadblocks into the game. That's just not gonna happen. That's an example, and don't take it as an absolute, okay? I know how a lot of people like to do that, because of normalcy bias and uh, another psychological predisposition. Preconception. Yeah, that's, that's another one. The third one. Don't let your preconceptions ruin everything. Now, people may say Warframe isn't, you know, uh, fucking pay to win, but it has become pay to win. It never started that way. Fuck no. It became pay to win. When, when you spend all of your updates decreasing the reward players get and increasing the amount of grind that they have to go through in order to get those limited and diminished rewards, then your game becomes pay to win because you're pushing the microtransaction system. And I've watched as the, the price of some things in Platinum in the market doubled and the uh, amount that you got was cut by 75 to 80 percent. Such as um, Plastids used to pay 15 Platinum for 30,000 Plastids. That was what, uh, two years ago? And then one day I logged in and looked because I was like, you know what, I want to get some extra plastics. So yeah, I'm going to spend 15 platinum and I'm going to get 30,000. And I'm going to do this a few times and stock up because I'm going to need these later. I know it. And I, I look and it's 30 platinum. I'm like, what the price double? Holy shit. And then I looked at how much you get and it was 300 plastics. And at that time, when that happened, I could go in a mission and I could get 3,000 Plastids in a matter of, like, five fucking minutes at maximum. Without a resource booster. Without a drop chance booster. Without using Necros uh, Desecrate. Without using Kora's Pilfering Strangle Dome. Without using... Hydroids Pilfering Swarm, without using any loot drop increase from any frame ability or purchased booster. I could get 3,000 in 5 minutes. And then over the course of a few months, I watched as the ability to get those things in the missions was diminished massively. I went from getting, you know, 3,000 in five minutes to getting uh, fucking, what was it, 2,000 in 10 minutes. And it slowly went down from there. Uh, like, 
update by update, it was gradual, each update. Like Toro Grimstrom said in his bitch speech. And how you boil a frog? You put the frog into cold water and you, you start slowly increasing the temperature so that the frog does not notice. That way, when the frog is finished boiling, it, it will not have jumped out of the pot. But I'm not a frog. I'm an intelligent, sentient, self-aware individual unlike the rest of you. And I jumped ship. For a whole year. So, tell me, D.E. How many other people left the game and came back? And how many people left the game and did not come back? And how many new players jump into the game and... Nice, he's got an arcane revive. How many new players jump into the game, spend less than 50 hours, and then, you know, leave the game and they don't log in ever again? Uh, taking into consideration ever again basically doesn't mean ever again because continuance and uh, time, as you all call it. But how many players, how many new players have picked up the game, spent less than 50 hours in it, and then put it down and have not returned since in the past year and two months? Tell me, D, I, I want to know. What's, what's your, what's your average, what's your over-ender for uh, player retention now? What's your average for player retention right now that encompasses the last year and two months? Is it more players being retained in the game playing it than before? Or is it less? When you implemented those things that Tor Bjornstrom said, did your player base gain more retention, or did you lose player retention? I really, really want to know, DE. That's what I want to know. Because if you actually gain player retention, that literally, legitimately will shock you. Because the only thing it shows me as a data point is conclusive evidence of the truth that the vast majority of people are too stupid to be allowed to make an intelligent and informed decision for themselves, even with the information. They're still too stupid. It also tell me how many people just don't give a fuck about their privilege and right which should never be violated by any means to enjoy their lives. They'll tell me just how fucking retarded everyone really is. And if you've actually lost players and player retention, He'll tell me how much of an idiot you guys, D.E., were for listening to Tour of Yernstrom. I think after these set of uh, five that we need to leave. You guys are starting to go down. I mean, even after the update, I could do... 15, 20 waves with a, a team and not go down. And in this map, in this uh, Hydron on Sedna, yeah, I, I could still do that even after the update. But uh, these guys in particular seem like they don't need to go any further than wave 10. 
seems like it's gonna get a little bit too much for them to handle. Yeah, definitely. Even with those arcane revives. If he was using arcane revive. Yeah, yeah, wave 10, we need to leave. <laughs> also, I need to summon some idiots to distract these uh, enemies. So there you go. That'll help for about five seconds. Five seconds, uh, that'll help a little bit. That's the difference between dying five times and not dying five times. Okay, wall, well, let me go past. Okay, it's time for this team to um, leave the mission. No need to push yourselves beyond what you, you're currently capable of. That'll increase later. Okay, for the first 45 to 47 minutes, I went on about things. Things that would improve the game. Things that everyone should enjoy. And I'm going to recap. If you don't want to use the extra mod card slots, you do not have to use them. They're there as something you've earned. Whether or not you want to use them or not use them is your personal choice to make on your own. The fact that they're there is for everyone to choose whether or not they are going to use them. So do not whine, complain, or be bitch-born or butthurt about it. Because it's a binary function. You either support everyone's privilege and right to have more fun and more power in the game at their choice, or you're just a little bitch. It's that binary, it's that cut and dry. Ooh, shield mama! 2,678 shield. Children, level 10. Okay. Yep. You're leveling your Hildren up. Is this how your master rank was 26? Hold on. There you guys go. Uh, free energy. Yeah. As soon as uh, Nico gets over here, it's time to ready check. Okay, nice power slide, but this is not Rockstar's, nor is it Tenacious D. <laughs> it's, it's different looking at it from the outside. I'm usually looking at it from the other side of playing it. <laughs> it's so different looking at it from this side.
God particle. I didn't know a Star Trek uh, Voyager reference was gonna be someone's gamer tag. That's a nice one. There you go. A Borg reference for your Omega Particle reference. All we need now is a Q Jr. reference and we're good to go. Oh wait, no, no, we're not good to go. We need a Captain Janeway reference. And possibly for comedic relief, a Neelix reference. all those pink lines for. And I gotta say, after I saw the uh, Mr. Ass Night Tenno uh, Cephalon Jizz in Your Faces video about Necros being a tank, and you know, I applied that idea in my mod setup, I gotta say, pretty, pretty good. I'm only missing one of the mods that he had, which is health conversion from Cephalon Samaris. Yeah, I'm gonna need to, uh, I'm gonna need to fucking, uh, uh, cipher, scan, index, what, what's the word I'm looking for, Crane? I know you got a thesaurus in a dictionary up there somewhere. You just gotta find them in, in the fucking maelstrom, fucking cataclysmic. Cataclysm? What are you doing in my head? I've been watching too many better name pending videos. I've got so much fucking uh, information in my head, so much accumulated knowledge. It, it, the human brain, which I'm currently using, any human brain, only has yet so much capacity. It only has yet so much processing power and speed. I think I've pretty much used mine up. The capacity, that is. With all the fucking random knowledge I've obtained, I, I think I've used all of my capacity. Up. I think that's what Alzheimer's really is. It's your brain saying, "Okay, I've got too much knowledge. It's time to dump some of this shit." You're not using it, you. And then you're, what the fuck did I forget that for? 
What did I forget again? Who the hell are you? Where's my couch? Where am I? Yeah, that's pretty much Alzheimer's for you. It's where your brain's like, you know what? You've got too much fucking knowledge up here. I'm tired of holding on to it. Fuck off. I'm sticking with it. It may sound like a joke, or you know, what, what everyone keeps calling mean-worthy, or mean-ish, or some whatever fucking word you're gonna use for it. It may sound that way, but the long and short of it is your brain's just like, okay, you've got too much fucking knowledge here, I'm getting rid of some of it. Now, your birthday, you don't fucking bother remembering that. Nobody celebrates it anymore anyway. It's gone. Bye. You don't know how old you are anymore. Ha! Your brain's just sitting in your head laughing at you. And then suddenly your brain's like, why the fuck am I laughing? Who am I laughing at again? I think I deleted my system exe files. Whoops. And that's when your body shuts down. Shield mama. You be doing the, the good stuff by holding them in place. I'll just, I'll just spray, and um, the enemy will pray. Gotta get this green orgasm juice. Orgasm all over them. Uh, the first person to tell that joke to me was a, a fellow that I used to go to the gym with and work out with like 20 years ago. Damn near 20 years ago. That be before the rheumatoid arthritis fucked up me bones ability to bend and flex. I mean not me bones, but my cartilage's ability to bend and flex inside of the space between me bones. Uh oh. The Omega Particle has left the building. The Omega Particle has left the building. And no, I'm not gonna go and follow that person just because of the gamer tag, just for the joke of it, just to have fun. I'm not a fucking bitch about it. Arctic Eximus? What are you doing here? This is not the Arctic. This is a very temperate climate. If the Haka Master had anything to say about the climate, it would be scalding. Or, you know, very similar to hell. The stereotypical rendition of hell. What is my, um, yeah, it's 29. I'm gonna need to leave after these, uh, five waves. Provided that this is wave 10 instead of wave uh, 11. Yeah, this, this should be wave 10. Look, brain, stop deleting information just for the fuck's sake fun of it, okay? You're gonna hurt yourself. And then I'm gonna have to fix you, and it's not gonna be pretty. I'm not a neurosurgeon, you fucking idiot brain. Uh, I... I'm gonna have to add some information here. I heard from a source. I don't know if it's reputable, decent, or what have you. But I heard from a source. 
uh, fellow appearing on uh, was it some sort of help uh, YouTube video or TED talk sort of video or something similar along the lines of self-help and uh, neurology and memory and uh, how to get better memory I heard that exercise increases the elasticity of your um, neurology which is to say your brain your your brain's um, neurons which are the brain cells well uh, Little spider web uh, shaped brain cells. Those are the ones. That's that's your 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 neural cells. Your neural network. And the plasticity is how well they interact with each other and how fast they realign and change pathways. Or, you know, change the way they're put together like Lego bricks so that they can perform different functions more efficiently or more speedily. Yeah, like I said earlier, I've got a fuck ton of information in my head. Anyway, that's a uh, the I think it. That's uh, the I'm gonna take it. Fuck it, I burned through like a hundred thousand ferrite in a matter of hours. Yeah, being mastery rank 22, I would love for it to mean I get more resources when I go and do a farm run so that I don't have to farm for hours. So that, you know, I can just do like 30, 15 minutes, something I am personally comfortable with, so that I can jump out of that and, and go help my clan or go help uh, random players I meet who are asking for help, you know? Veteran players, you know, we, we go and we fucking help newer players. Why should we, after earning a higher master rank, have to bother with more tedious grind? Yeah, the thing is, you know, if, if you want players to stay DE, you give players who have earned higher mastery rank the ability to get more resources, all of the resources, very much faster, very much more quickly. So, that way, we can turn our attention and time to helping newer players acclimatize to the game so that they can, in turn, earn their way up to said levels of um, instant rewarding instant gratification via earning it through the master rank so that they can in turn <coughs> turn their attention to helping more new players and everyone listen to me that's not a bad thing information is not inherently good or bad it's how you choose to view that information that is good or bad I prefer in this situation to go with the absolutely neutral approach that it's both uh, positive for the player and uh, positive for uh, companies who just want to you know get more players in for the potential to make more money off of them doing the microtransactions. Now that baseline system combined with reducing the cost of Micros transactions and increasing the reward given for those microtransactions will further incentivize newer players to want to purchase said microtransactions in order to get through the game's leveling system more quickly. Is that abundantly clear how those convoluted things interact with each other? It's simple chaos theory, love. Patterns that interact with other patterns based upon patterns of patterns that are made up of patterns interacting with patterns that become more patterns interacting with more patterns. It's that simple. 
And yes, it sounds convoluted as all fucking hell, but please be aware, I am massively fucking knowledgeable about this particular thing and how it applies in this particular scenario. Now, what the hell am I doing again? What's my age again? What's my age again? What the fuck is ADD? Okay, you. Don't want to screw around and play with you. Hmm. Not at this time. I like your stance and uh, how it works with you, but I would like to finish the leveling what's left of my collection that I have not finished leveling. This Magistar is not for leveling, it is for a another weapon. Tatsu. Tatsu. Tatsu some. Oh my gosh. It comes with innate radiation. And slash. Critical chance of 16, status of 28. This is going to be a status monster. Okay. Attack speed of 1.0, combo duration of 5. Okay, I'm just gonna be modding for status, radiation, and slash. Tatsu, my dear boy, you beautiful radiation slash monster. I think I'm going to enjoy fucking around and killing things with you greatly. Care to join me in a slaughter fest? Damn it. Y shaped stance. What is tattoo considered? Why do I not have a stance slot here? I got all Matarai, Vezirin, Nerimon, Zinarik, and Umbra. How do I not have a. Oh, two handed Nikana. <clears throat> okay. It's not a great blade, so I can't attach a, a stance mod that I would use on a Galatine, a Grom, or a War. Okay. I have no stance mods for this. Like I said earlier, no fucking uh, uh, max out on having all the uh, mod cards. Not yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take those off. Damage and attack speed decrease. Okay. Uh, radiation. So that's a volcanic edge. Voltaic strike. And... Fuck it. Um, you get a maxed out mod card and you get a maxed out mod card. Um, yes, third layer, it's going to be, okay, that, and that, but pay no never mind to me swapping these two position, I just like to line it up with, uh, the element combo, it says, uh, cold plus toxic, so I just... I put it in that order just to keep things uniform for me. If you want to do that, go go right ahead. Do it. Do it. 70% status. 
It's only going to go up from there. <laughs> fucking 300 fucking radiation. Oh, this 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 weapon's so new it doesn't even have um, uh, skins for it yet. Doesn't even have tanogen. Hmm. No. With a brighter red, definitely. Okay, emissive. Um, I've had uh, someone ask me, "How do you change the the dual, the second dual uh, color thingy?" Well, the first one. Just scroll down to it. Pick it up. Uh, second one. I use the D-pad. Just go over to the right one. Oh yeah, I, I like the way that looks. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's that's nice. It's like a a notachi. Uh, if I'm correct. Uh, the Nodachi was a particularly longer version of the um, blades that were manufactured by uh, Oriental swordsmiths. Wait, do I have any uh, secondaries? That's Doug, though. <laughs> Yes, I just got my Sonic Hall. Ah, now I can cosplay as uh, a Corpus variation of Ezio Aditares. Or Altair. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, I forgot the names of the other couple of assassins you played as as an in Assassin's Creed. Yeah, feel free to go and, and sing Kill Hall to me. Compliments of Elstorm by Napalm Records. Not sponsored, I just like fucking Elstorm. Fuck you with a fucking anchor. You're all cunts, so fuck you all. <laughs> this is fucking me. Ha ha, bitches. This is me. You're all cunt, so fuck you all! Fuck you, you're a fucking wanker. We're gonna punch you right in the balls. Fuck you with the fucking anchor. You're all cunt, so fuck you all! Our position has been compromised. Defend the cargo until reinforcements. Oh! Oh! I can keep running while slashing. Hey, buddy, I can't chase you down just to give you an energy buff. Did I hit you? I hope so. Okay. Oh! Okay, just not moving while pressing. Okay, nice. I like the combos. 
Very nice. Yes. I need. Oh no, I don't need. It's it's rather a uh, uh, situational. Uh, what's the actual word I'm looking for? Condition conditionally, I need to get a stance mod for this. The condition being that only in game is this condition met as uh, it is stated as a need. Yeah, that's that's fucking logic for you. No man, I'm gonna explain this, uh, you know, the way uh, Chi Chi Chong might explain it, man. You know, man, logic is really complicated logic. What the fuck you talking about, man? Yeah, I'm talking about logic, man. That shit's just fucking complicated. Are you. What the fuck weapon is that? Oh, it's a mower. Fucking juggling those assholes. Fuck yeah. Shit, yeah, mate. Juggle them. Juggle them. Oh, Professor Dr. Jumbo Spice. Huh. Professor Dr. Jumbo Spice. Too bad it's not Dr. Professor in my pants. Never mind that joke. It's old. But, um, you know, no one never said that old jokes couldn't get a rise. Am I right? Giggities. Yes, dear boy. Giggities. Even if it's not you, someone's going to laugh. Don't let that thought disturb you. Let it encourage you. Don't let your memes be memes. Turn them into rampant Cortana fevered dreams. I'm trying to have fun with this sword by slashing things apart. It's just not fucking working. My teammates are killing things before I can get to them. Well, that's not a bad thing. That's a very good thing on their part. They're doing their fucking um, stuff, and they're doing really damn good at it. It's my, um, it's my um, something or another uh, for fucking around with this blade. You know, but at least it's not in the simulator. You know, where we're meant to test things and see how they work. Yeah, Scott. You kind of like showed how much of a bitch you can be with that with that one statement. And the, the context of how you said it is irrelevant at this time because you didn't say it properly to begin with. I actually absolutely know what the fuck you meant. What you meant is those channels who, yeah, exclusively do nothing but simulacrum videos. And there's like, you know, fucking one or two of them I've come across that actually do that. You're talking about the channels that do nothing but that. You're talking about the ones who go into the simulacrum, have the... Uh, enemy turned off so that they're not moving. That's what you meant by brain dead AI. I know. But the way you presented that data point, you just shit your pants psychologically and, you know, uh, verbally. Shit your fucking pants. So, of course, you're gonna get dunked on and memed on for it. Because you didn't say it right to begin with. I know exactly what you were on about. You're on about them who are doing nothing but that. And damn, the fucking explosion. With the uh, enemy turned off, with invincibility on, so that they don't, you know, hurt themselves with uh, self-damage back when it was a thing. 
you're talking exclusively about those people. But you didn't say it right. The way you worded it, it wasn't right. Not at all. Not to convey the message you meant to convey. Scott from DE. I know exactly what you mean. Am I going to say, good job, well done? You're calling people out on their bullshit? Fuck no, you didn't do it right. See, Scott, you're in a position where you're classified as one of the jackasses in charge. I know, that's a new concept for Canadians. Especially, you know, your, your fucking uh, weed-addled brain, it, it, it's not ready for that. It's just not. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull out all the stereotypical Canadian jokes on you, because... Your way of wording things earned that one. Do I mean malicious by it? Fuck no. Do I wax idiotic with it? Fuck yes. Anyway, you're, you're in a position as one of the team members of DE to where you're, you're classed as one of the idiots in charge. And you have to hold yourself to a certain standard of being, you know, plain, blunt, and honest. And choosing how you word things carefully. Not politically, just carefully. There's a big difference. You see what politics is doing in America. You've got fucking little nigger bitches running up on Good Morning America. Just like the uh, satirical parody uh, Starship Troopers. You know, that conversation between uh, one idiot and another guy talking about a brain bug. Yeah, somebody find a copy of that uh, scene and, and link it for Scott to see uh, what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, you can see clearly here in America how politics is, you know, destroying everything. And actually, right now, with the coronavirus fucking everyone over, you can see globally how politics is nothing but a hindrance in, in any society at any point in time. It's not a good thing. It's a very corrupt thing. Now good and bad, they're not like binary. Not when you understand the, the myriad of things that come into it, into what balance truly is. It's not yin and yang totally. There's multiple things to balance. It's more than just a, a two-dimensional scale that you balance one side or the other. It's more like a four-dimensional scale where you have to balance five things that have a, a, a profound impact on one another. Like they say, in China, a grain of rice can tip the scale. That waxing idiotic expositionary onslaught of supporting thought process mechanics, and yes, it is supporting thought process mechanics. Whether you consider it hard data or not, it, it's true. Universal, omniversal fucking truth that I've converted into words. It, it, it all has an, an effect. You have to choose your words carefully. You have to be very, very careful because of synonyms. There's certain words that you, you can look up the word uh, insane. You, you'll get uh, synonyms such as mad or um, uh, what's the other one? See, insane, mad, demented. Uh, and, and mad goes into uh, emotionally unstable. Uh, insane and demented go into psychologically unstable and yeah I looked up in the dictionary and I was bored at the time insane went to mad went to another one it, it went in a circle it literally did so it was a copy of uh, the Merriam Webster's International Edition something edition but homeschoolers edition was backordered a few years 
few years, several years ago. And, you know, definitions don't fucking change. They, they just add more words to the dictionary. So, definitions don't change. And if they do, across multiple dictionaries, then something's wrong with society and the assets in charge. Anyway, the, the fucking synonyms went in a goddamn circle. With branches going off of that uh, circle of logic. So yeah, synonyms, yeah, words that sound different mean the same thing. But at the same time, it's, it's the branches off of the main synonymous definition that lead to misconception. Which is why synonyms are very dangerous. Which is why you need to be very precise and very careful with what you say and how you say it. For those of you who are the asshats in charge. D. It's that simple. And yes, to me, that is simple. What you call philosophy is just universal, omniversal truth converted into something you can understand. It's not a matter of philosophy, it's a matter of this truth is like a Lego piece. It interacts with all the others in this fashion. And yes, you can take pieces and put them together like logic bits and Lego bits and you can come up with something totally different. But at the very core of it, it's all made of the exact same thing anyway. So, you know, just because you, you made a... Just because you make fucking apple out of Legos, it doesn't change the fact that its base parts are still Legos. Even though you made an apple out of it, or a sculpture of an apple, it's still fucking Lego. And words are still words. The thing we're looking at is like, if you're going to compare words to Lego bricks, we're looking at the color, size, and shape of those fucking Lego bricks. Because uh, somewhere along the line, words became more than just a medium for communication. They became an art form. Uh, compliments to William Shakespeare and uh, several others. Wordsmiths of their time. They made a very pretty sculpture with their Lego bricks, didn't they, lads? It was very nice. There, that's how you can uh, fucking run the psychological comparison between that. So, D.E. Scott, yes, uh, I'm going to take the piss on you for that one. It's a British English idiom. Take the piss. Position has been to make fun of. Defend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. Don't like it? Oh well. Shit happens. Use your big boy words, little boy. Or, you know, stop being a little boy. And use your big boy clone words! You can do it! Come on! Oh, Day of the Dead Skin. Nice bits you got on there. Really nice. Right, I am, uh, I am ready if you guys are. Here you go, Nidus, you just joined us, have some energy. And we're off to the races! Oh, fuck the hell yeah. Wee! <laughs> ah, that's the that I made. 
the end. It is like this card and music in my ear hole. This is what I choose to come to love with my gear. It's a decent pace. I can think about things, I can analyze what I'm doing as I'm doing it, I can take my time with it. I don't just want to switch my brain off completely. And just you know, run through the levels, and then you know, look at how it performs after I've finished leveling it up. I, I can do both at the same time. I can look at how it performs while it's leveling. It's okay. I'll melt the machines. No worries about that, man. That faction attacking you is Gonzo. Not Konzu, but Gonzo. They're not coming back today. Or in this mission, I should say. Ah, hit right. I didn't even intend for it to. That's the kicker. And yes, I'm very much aware that you never know what you're going to get with me. I could be slanderously harassing, ha not harassing, slanderously cussing a storm up in one moment, and then the next I'm like, ha, oh, fuck it, who cares, it's funny. I know, I'm a mixed bag, and I like it that way. Nobody can figure me out like that, can they? It's just a little thing I do. It's just fun. No? Just a bit of fun. Fucking 80 billion years old. I gotta have fun somehow, okay? So trolling a religion known as psychology is just fun for me. And, and that's exactly what I'm doing, because psychology is a religion. It's the religion of the, the assholes who think they're better than everyone else. So they, they made up this religion where it they say, Oh, you have something wrong with you if you don't do the stuff we think you should do. Social justice warrior uh, faggotry. Delicate little snowflake bitchery. It's been there for the longest fucking time. Just recently, you've all started to notice. Welcome to the reality you've made for yourselves, humanity. Don't like it? I hadn't liked it since I got here. I 
bad it is. I'm not going to provide food. The Amnes old as I say I am. This ain't my first physical body. I am, however, going to make every effort to link this current physical form up to my true self. Now, like Yoda said, luminous beings only not this crude matter. Yeah, fucking yeah. I'm definitely gonna link up this physical network of brain cells to my energy network of me. There's multiple reasons to do that. For me, it's absolute paramount that that be done. Absolutely. Need to summon minions? Not yet! No! Ember's got this in the bag! Right, who is doing the Ember? Beast 5050. Beast 5050 has this in the bag. Yes. Somebody set me on fire! I don't think that's something you want to hear your Necros player say. Somebody set me on fire! It's more like something you want to hear a Harrow player say. Hey, you, shoot me! Shoot me! Come on, do what you need. Shoot me! Fire me! You're fired! Bastard didn't want to fire me, so I fired him. How does that work with a flamethrower? Slash oh, fuck yes. Hey, you shoot me! Shoot me, you, you fuck! Can't even shoot me properly. Let's say shoot and you punch the ground, you bitch. Hey, you're near. Shoot me. Never mind. Veneer corpses can't shoot things as far as I know. Unless I'm missing a crucial piece of information that states that the Grenier are already corpses. They just haven't realized it yet. In which case, non-functioning Grenier corpses can't shoot me as far as I know. Okay, I'm gonna move out of his way so that he has a clear line of sight to the vast majority. Yeah, special awareness. Teamwork, everyone. Teamwork. Even though my flamethrower is 
rampantly visible and obscuring. Probably should change the color to black so that it's less obscuring. You know what? I'm gonna do that after this, uh, after this bit. Hey, Noxy boy! Noxy boy! Come on! Fucking hit me, Noxy boy! Come on! Get your stuck in gear and hit me! Come on, Noxy boy! Come on, fucking hit me, bitch! You can't fucking kill me right now! Guys, you're pathetic. Ah, Noxy boy, you couldn't fucking do it. You fucking shit the bed. Okay, I'm I'm gonna leave and change my energy on my flamethrower to be black. And hopefully it'll be less, uh, as much of a visual strain for people. Now I take this from one video by Ass Hat to Know, Cephalon Jizz in Your Face. How not to be a shit limbo, where he said the energy color should be black because it's the most visibly uh, acceptable so, so that you can fucking see through it instead of getting eye cancer, as he puts it. <coughs> so that's what I'm gonna uh, do as a, um, a Warframe gamer uh, etiquette and courtesy to my fellow gamers and players. And, yeah, it's about fucking time I do that. There you go. And I will be leaving. Common fucking gamer and uh, Warflame, Warflame. Warframe player etiquette and basic kindness of thought. Oh, wrong tab. Appearance. Emissive. Uh, that is gonna be switched over to black and black. Okay, and energico. That's gonna be black and black. And I used to be running the Solstice skin. I thought it was cool when I first got it. I enjoyed using it. Then I um, I switched my aesthetic um, ergonomic viewpoint. Which uh, it, it isn't a, an opinion based thing. It's a um, does this match this in its base uh, lineup. Does it appear to be the same as in regard to or aspect thereof? So I, I switched my aesthetic appeal or aesthetic viewpoint and that chest plate. Was it under attachments? Uh, accents. That just, that doesn't really work. Okay, that might work for the chest piece. Um, know what? Hang the sense of it. Um, That works more for the chest piece. That works less.
In this case, less is more uh, aesthetically profound. Also, my necros looks like a bat. He summons dead corpses to fight against people. <laughs> and this is the kicker. Wait for it. I have a Zal that I named Coronavirus. Oh yeah. We don't need a close-up of that. Necros, come on. Now uh, the cape is fine the way it is. Uh, yeah, the cape is fine the way it is. There, the removal of the chest piece altogether just makes it more ergonomically aesthetic. And uh, 24 and 26. Okay, that's like 10, 15 more waves. Depending on, uh, okay, the event affinity booster. Yep. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Uh, Bulwark. Okay, Atlas. Yeah, you don't need to place Bulwarks, Atlas. Not if you're going for, um, farming experience off of this mission. That just looks like I'm spraying Koopa. Like, really dank Koopa everywhere. frame he's leveling it okay you know what you're leveling that frame I'm not gonna fault you for placing a bulwark right here it's a good position to place it and you need to use your abilities to get more affinity to actually rank the frame up faster so go, go right ahead why are you still over there Listen, you, squirt pin. Fuck off. Stay down there. Don't come back. Everything dies. Everything burns. Uh, all the grenier, that is. It's looking out when I crack open. Hit. I don't know. Probably a few billion years worth of Q 
accumulated information. jump. Hi. Me and, uh, me and a clan mate, we got a new clan mate and friend, and He's pretty new, so we're, we're walking him through things, uh, grinding and farming, the living fuck out of stuff he's gonna need. Um, just, just generally helping him get his stuff situated. Yeah. You know, farming the living fuck out of vault runs, uh, the Orchid Derelict Vault, just for all of those mod cards. I'm gonna uh, run AFC for just a second. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's raining outside. Okay. Fifteen seconds uh, in early five to ten waves of this mission. That's all I allot myself, and that's when I allot myself a fucking away from controller break. Fifteen seconds at most. But never past the first ten waves. And always as Necros. And always immediately following the, the summon of my fucking army of the damned. Or as Ash might say, uh, the army of darkness. And they offered me to be their king, but I declined. Good guy, bad guy. I'm the one with the fucking flame thrower. Oh, yeah, um, <laughs> fucking, um, okay. You, you guys want to go? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dosh you on that one. Especially considering most of the time I wind up being uh, the host of these things. Oh yeah, yeah. Warframe mission etiquette. If you are the mission host, do not leave your team. Unless it is at the, the wave end, or it is agreed upon that you're going to leave after a certain period of time, and everyone leaves with you. If you are the host in the uh, mission side, do not leave without the consent of your squad mates. Or, in the event that you've ended five waves of a defense that you select to leave immediately when the end screen pops up. And at the end of these uh, ten waves, when it is at the end of the ten waves, I'll show you how you can determine if you are in fact the squad host. This is gamer etiquette. For this game specifically, if you are the squad host, do not leave your squad in the middle of a mission. That is grounds for having everyone who has a YouTube channel and is aware of the Warframe game etiquette making a YouTube video showcasing how much of a little bitch you are and you getting memed on ridiculously. Do not leave your squad when you are the squad host in the middle of the game. Do 
not sit on your ass in the middle of a mission and play your your fucking your guitar, your little lute, or your fucking mandacord, somacord, whatever the fuck it's called, your musical instruments. Do not sit on your ass in the middle of a mission and play your musical instrument. Do not sit your ass in a corner and go AFC for the entire survival or defense or whatever mission type it is that is continuous. Do not do that. That is a bitch move. That is grounds for getting your ass recorded by whoever is uh, whoever's in the mission with you. I'll, I'll fucking send you a warning like I did at the, the very beginning of this video with that one fella telling him that's just poor gamer etiquette. I'll send you a warning. I'll give you fair warning before I fucking report you. But do not fucking do that shit. Don't sit on your ass and do nothing. Don't sit on your ass and play your musical instrument in the middle of a mission. That shit is for when you invite your friends to your orbiter. Or when you go to your clan dojo with your clan mates and friends. That's what that's when that shit is uh, supposed to be done. Not in the middle of a goddamn mission. Not unless you're exclusively with your friends and clan mates and they're telling you, yeah, you can just yeah, you can just sit in the corner if you want. Do not do that with anyone else. That is extremely rude, obnoxious, and poor gamer etiquette. And it shows how much uh, uncultured, undisciplined, dishonorable, disrespectful much of a bitch you can and are. When you do that, when you sit on your ass and do nothing in the middle of a mission, or when you play your musical instrument in the middle of a mission, instead of contributing, to your team. It just shows how much of a bitch you are. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it for your delicate snowflake social justice faggot sensibilities. If you don't like cussing, fuck right off. YouTuber AV is starting to tell his audience that more and more because he's sick of the bullshit. And he's just going to tell you flat out, if, if you don't like the fact that I say shit, fuck, you know, other four letter words, you, you can fuck right off. And he literally says, you can fuck right off. And then I'm already telling you, and I'm telling you again. I don't give a fuck what you think about your social justice faggotry. You can fuck right off. If you don't like the truth, if you think there's that the truth offends you, or if it offends you, there's something wrong with you. Like, uh, I'm paraphrasing Peak Prosperity. He says, if, if the data, the facts offend you, there's nothing wrong with the facts. Yeah, if the truth offends you, or you're offended by the truth, you're, you're just a little bitch. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. And I'm not gonna censor myself. Not for anyone. I don't give a fuck how much money that anyone offers me. I'll tell you, take your money, you know, roll it up nice and tight, cram it up your fucking ass, and piss the fuck off. Is that a Noxie boy? Uh, correction, that used to be a Noxy boy. Now it is a corpse. I wonder if he has pilfering, uh, swarm augment. The only way to find out is to let the tentacles actually kill something, because the enemy has to die on the tentacles. Hello, Hydroid. How are you today? 
good, I see. Having fun. Right, uh, yeah, you guys. Yeah, uh, you scroll over those little um, symbols uh, of your um, thingy that was in the middle of the um, middle of the screen there at the end screen for the uh, every five waves. You scroll over yours, and if you're the host, it'll have a little um, text box that will pop up and say "host." I didn't get to it fast enough to show you, but that's how you determine if you are the squad host. And like I've said, I'm going to say once more. If you are the squad host, do not leave your team in the middle of the game. I've had that happen when I was in an arbitration, and I had to solo from 5 to 20. Well, I didn't have to. I just chose to solo from 5 to 20. That was before I had uh, this little bit called adaptation. Oh, fuck the hell yeah. Alright, so, um, as far as builds go, and Necris Prime specifically, uh, ignore the arcanes. I don't have any that are um, maxed out, and um, I, I just ignore the arcanes. I, I don't have the ones I want to throw on for a, a, a Necros tank build, so just ignore the arcanes. I roll with this ones. And Vitality and Prime Vigor. I'm pretty sure I can throw these off the build and put something else in. And I believe... Uh... Hold on. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong button presses. Oh yeah, this one, the Aura uh, mod slot, it already has a, an Aura Forma put into it. Definitely get your Prime Frames Aura modded. Definitely. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be a massive help. So you can go from swapping your Rejuvenation over to your your loot runs for. Cetus Wisp farming or whatever else ails you to your energy siphon to your corrosive projection for fucking Eidolon hunts and you, your sprint boost for your drift frame you know what, I'm just gonna go out and say it the aura forma definitely get those Tatsu, my dear sweet child. What manner of debauchery can you bestow upon my enemy? Mm. Yes, much debauchery indeed. 95.2% debauchery. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, stand by. <coughs> Combo duration and status chance. Very good. Shit. This is not why I want double the mod slots so that I get, you know, for a 16 
Yeah, 16 mod card slots in DE. I'm going to suggest this. Configure A, B, C, etc. Make it to where we can conf mod each configuration separate from the other configurations. Yes, for new players, you're going to have to use more Forma to make you know three different base builds to start with or baseline builds you know once you get started uh, experimenting with building your uh, weapons and frames and such with mod cards yeah it'll it'll take more work to form a, each build individually but at the same time DE that will promote two things it will promote the diverse builds it will prov it will promote me being able to you know have two three etc separate builds. It'll incentivize me amongst other players similar to me to put more forma into our builds. It will um, it will incentivize me personally to actually go and buy more forma from your market. And, and yeah, I definitely would. I definitely plan to. Pending DE, pending your actions, pending the results of how decent and viable an idiot you choose to be. I'm gonna play with that later. Oh yeah, that's uh, the sidebar. To manufacture th this thing, thirty thousand cryotic. Give me the ability to get more stuff faster, for fuck's sake. I've spent as much time and effort and, and everything to earn that. So just fucking give it to me already, okay? Okay, after I rank this one up, uh, I have no more secondaries to work on. And yes, the Oval Orifice is a, uh, a, a strip club uh, joke. Hold on. Oh yeah, and Isaac Clarke's nail gun. This is a, a Dead Space reference. And just just take a look at that. Does that not look like something in Dead Space 3 that Isaac Clarke would have built? Does that not look like a nail gun that he would have made? Just a nail necromorphs to the fucking wall. Does that not look like that? It definitely has that aesthetic of uh, cobbled together parts. It definitely has that aesthetic. It's fucking cool. Anyway, uh, one more rank with the Sonic Core. And, uh,. Okay. I need to finish working on the Tiburon, then the Fullman, the Comb, and Quanta Vandal, the Tornor, and the Z Huge. Okay. Three, six. That's six total. I need to finish working on primary weapon wise. How many frames I need to be fixed upon? Not at this time. Yeah, alright. Uh, I think I've said it before, but I'm gonna have to say it again. Uh, baseline uh, future planning, uh, futurist type ideology way of, of planning ahead in the game. 
always carry a minimum of one powerful weapon with you regardless of whether you're leveling new stuff or if you're just doing you know whatever simple reason is stalker shows up goose drag 3 shows up uh, a faction you're not aligned with shows up and tries to kill you or um, some other thing shows up you know those type of things you you want to be able to at least put out some form of damage against those assholes when they show up so always always keep a decently powerful weapon on you at all times Game, do, do you do you need a, a help there? You need a little help here. Three, two. You might as well tell me you're finding Nemo in the upper left-hand corner instead of finding a squad. While sending them in a new game, I want you to undo this uh, soft lock you appear to have fucked yourself into. Okay, exit that and go back into that. And spike. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, spike! Wait, is is not doing that for a reason. Okay, um, change of plan. I'm ending this video right now. Till next time, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Go use the links for support on Patreon, PayPal, blah blah blah, and fuck off till next time. Goodbye.